guys. <laughs> I'm Sasha Petersa, and uh, I'm going to do an interview for Amanda Elkins' blog. And uh, I play Allison on Pretty Little Liars, so uh, I'm really excited about this. <laughs> uh, when I wake up in the morning, what is the first thing that I do? I would have to say that I turn on my phone <laughs> and check my emails because I'm constantly on the go, and if anything changes, it kind of messes up the whole day. So checking my emails, make sure that you know nothing's changed. <laughs> How many languages do I speak? I'd have to say that I learned a little bit of Spanish and when I was little I lived in France for a year and I was fluent in French and unfortunately I've lost all of it which actually really makes me upset and I'm gonna have to learn it again because uh, I really want to go back to France and I love to travel so that's definitely one thing that I'll have to acquire again. A song that's been in my head all day, Florence and the Machine, The Dog Days Are Over. Um, I love that song, and uh, I just downloaded the music video, so now I'm constantly watching it and listening to it. <laughs> um, am I a spender or a saver? I'd have to say both. I kind of, you know, with my pocket money at least, I, I save most of it, and then, you know, oh, I really want that shirt, so I'll go and <laughs> buy that shirt or something like that, so. I'd have to say both, you know. Managing your money is very important. <laughs> Uh, what shows do I TiVo? I watch a lot of TV, mainly because my family does, but uh, we love House and Grey's Anatomy and Private Practice and The Big Bang Theory and Two and a Half Men and Chuck and yeah, the list goes on. <laughs> I watch a lot of TV. And if it was for me to choose one item in my closet that I love the most, what would it be? I love shoes. It's kind of my, uh, what do you call it? It's the thing that I go and I'm like, oh my gosh, shoes, I have to, I have to go in that store and I have to buy, the those are so cute, and I kind of go crazy. <laughs> and actually, I have shoes to show you. These are from my closet. They're Steve Madden's, and I love them. They're new, so, you know, I've been wearing them all the time and I'm really excited about them. <laughs> I love them. Um, you can, I guess you can call me a shoeaholic. It's, yeah, it's pretty bad. What are my three strongest qualities and my three worst? Well, what one, one I guess can be both. I'm, I'm very passionate, so that can be a good thing and a bad thing depending on what the subject is. Uh, I'm passionate about my work and my family and my friends and the people that I love. And um, you know, when people get in the way of <laughs> the people that I love, I guess I can be passionate about that too. So I, I think it could be, a really good asset and a really bad one, depending on what the situation is. Um, and I would say one of the good ones is I'm creative. Uh, thanks to my mom and my grandma, they, they sew and paint and they, they do engraving and all, all these sorts of things. And I'm kind of on the other side. I, I like, I sing and I act and um, I scrapbook a lot. And I'm actually recently making jewelry and my, my own clothing line, so that's coming out soon. So. Um, and designing and all that stuff. Um, so yeah, creative for sure is probably one of my better <laughs> my better assets. Um, another good one. I'm a good listener. Um, yeah, a lot of my friends just come to me to vent, and I, I, I'm kind of like a sponge. <laughs> so yeah, I'm a good listener. Uh, my three worst. I'm trying to think. Well, passionate is one that can be either or. Um, I would say that I worry a lot. Um, I spend a lot of time worrying about my friends and you know the stuff that they're going through. I kind of take on their troubles on, into my life. But I think, um, well, on one hand, I'm caring about them, which is good. But it, it, sometimes it gets too much. <laughs> um, what else? Um, and I think I let. Well, I guess that's the same with worrying. I let things affect me a lot. Uh, I'm a perfectionist. I really am. I have to, when it comes to like my clothes and my jewelry and stuff, I, it has to be perfect. So I think that can be bad too because you don't really know when to stop. <laughs> so, um, let's see. If you took a look inside my refrigerator, what would you find? Well, I've recently become all organic. So I'm, I'm non-dairy too and stuff like that. So I'm kind of a health nut. And 
it's kind of a big step for me because I was never like that as a child. I'm very picky and, <laughs> you know, I like my chocolates and my sweets and all that, but um, health is really important to me now, so I, I pretty much have, you know, fruit in the morning and then um, I have, like, you know, gluten-free pasta or something <laughs> and then salad at night, so, um, you know, the fruit is really good for you. It, goes right through your system and it kind of cleanses your system in the morning and uh, you need complex carbs to keep your energy up and salad is really good for you because it has complex carbs in it too and greens and you know is, is, is very good for you it has lots of vitamins and minerals and it's light so at night uh, it goes through your system well and you you know you will be hungry in the morning <laughs> so yeah I'm, I'm, a, I'm a health nut so everything's organic and preservative free and all that stuff but I like it <laughs> my favorite person in the world See, now that's a hard one because I, I'm really close to my family, so I, I would have to say, like, my mom and dad, I, I really admire them and I'm really close to them, so, uh, but then again, like, uh, I, I admire a lot of leaders and, and, you know, other celebrities, too, that I, I think are good role models, mainly because I think a lot of people affect me. I don't think it's just one person. Um, I think I take uh, from a lot of people and kind of mold them to how my situations are. Um, I think learning from other people's experiences are good too because that way I mean, you're probably less likely to make those mistakes for yourself. <laughs> um, if I could choose to become a character from a movie, what would it be and why? Well, since the Pirates movies come, came out, I wanted to be in those movies. I thought that was so cool. Um, Pirates of the Caribbean, I just, uh, I love it. So, uh, you know, Keira Knightley's part, I would love to do that. I think that, that would be a lot of fun. And um, just because they get to, they get to have fun all day, you know? I think that's really nice. I think it's really cool. Uh, and I think as an actress, that's, um, it's really neat to be able to take on a part like that because you're in a totally different, you know, time and, and, and place. And uh, I think her, her character is so interesting because she uh, she has a lot to her, you know. In the beginning, it's just kind of like she's, you know, she doesn't want to get married to this one guy. It, it seems simple, but I think she's got a lot of layers, and uh, I think she's kind of a, you know, a bad girl in the end too. So um, I like that a lot. <laughs> I like a character's layers and something that I can, you know, dig my teeth into. Okay, well that's it, guys. Thanks for listening, and uh, make sure to check out Amanda Elkins' blogs too. She's got amazing photos. And uh, Pretty Liars comes back January 3rd, so be sure to watch. You can find more about how I went missing, so it'll be interesting. <laughs> Bye!